quite a bit more angles, quite a bit more meat, um, quite a bit more material. Welcome back. We are still working with Alpha Skid today, despite all the uh, vast assortments of sleds now in the shop behind me. We got some new parts to go on the skid again today, a scissor mount in particular. And if you missed last video, we did a bunch of repairs to the area around this scissor mount. So you can go check those out. But before that, if you're not subscribed, consider subscribing to the channel already. And if you are subscribed, I appreciate you. Sled vlogs, fixes, performance parts, upgrades, uh, you see it all here. And if you like wooden video, you're gonna like them all. Let's get to this alpha skin. If you wanna see this brace install, as well as some repairs that we did in this scissor mount area, you can check that out in the last video. Um, today, we are taking this apart again. Today, we are actually going to replace this whole arm with this upgraded uh, ZRP scissor mount. So we're gonna be taking the old one out, the stock one's coming out, we're gonna put this upgraded one in. I believe they claim another three and a half times strength out of this specific scissor mount as compared to the stock Articat mount. As always, we get our parts through Altitude Power Sports. So they set us up with this ZRP mount that we're gonna be sticking on this Alpha. So there's a couple of things that actually make this, uh, this whole system right in here a little bit weak. I've never actually seen one of these mounts fail in person. I've seen lots of uh, videos and pictures of them going out, whether they go out, uh, whether the whole casting cracks or generally what happens is these bolts will back out or the plate will fail uh, within the mount, but we addressed that already. The whole rear suspension takes a dive. I've heard it screwing up the rail. I've heard it screwing up the track, everything in one go. So before that happens, we are going to take this out and we're going to upgrade that with this ZRP scissor mount. Again, you probably don't need to take your alpha skid out to do this. I am just doing it for purposes of demonstration. Okay, I'm going to get this scissor mount taken out here. Super easy. All you're looking at is four bolts, two on this side, two on the side facing myself. And from here, we can just fold the suspension back and we can just work on everything we need to right in this area. So on the left here, we have the old hardware. This is the old scissor mount. Uh, this is the old hardware that we will be discarding. These two small uh, eight millimeter cap screws with um, six millimeter threads, as well as some small, tiny little rivets are all that hold up the rear of this skid. So you got a lot of pressure going into this tiny little mount and you want to depend a little more than what, uh, what they give you here. We're going to get rid of this. And what we're actually going to be using is a through bolt. Now this through bolt came from ZRP uh, as well as our scissor mount here. So let's take a look at these two mounts and let's uh, let's see how they're different. So what we have is two uh, scissor mounts. The upgraded one being on the right and the stock one being on the left. Um, really, you can actually just see them side beside each other. Quite a bit more meat on these joints. Uh, oh, these bushings are pressed in backwards, so I'll, I'll get that fixed. Those bushings should be on the inside. You can see those lips. But um, yeah, quite a bit more of a beefy part. Uh, that guide on the top is just replaced with a, uh, a cast guide, which is fine. You can see this one is actually already taken a few hits, and that's just from a fully compressed suspension uh, and your track deflection. Well, you're cruising on her, so that's something that can happen. I've seen these break off a number of times. I've actually seen it even break off that whole tab that screws uh, this little pad to the mount. And now that I'm thinking back at it, I think that's the only way I've ever seen these break. And for a piece that has to hold up, you know, a half of the weight of the sled, as well as most of the rider weight, very, uh, very subpar hardware. This is our through bolt. We are going to be using that uh, to go right through the middle of our skid instead of screwing these two bolts into it, just depending on basically the strength of this mount being riveted and epoxied to the frame of the rail to hold up the weight of the machine. Uh, we'll actually be using this to upgrade to what the newer model alphas are doing, which is sending a bolt right through that suspension altogether. So let's get this scissor mount uh, in properly. These are the two little axles that you press out. So I'll press those into there after I get those bushings in right and we'll put on this arm. These are supposed to be 
self-lubricating bushings, but um, I still don't mind putting, putting a little candy on them. Side by side, you can see that even the sidewalling is substantially thicker. They've done a lot of work in this area to make that brace quite a bit bigger. It is uh, a little bit heavier, not a whole lot. Uh, I didn't take the time to weigh it. It is a little bit heavier. Um, not really anything you're gonna notice. To install this, what do we gotta do? I got a drill. Yeah, this screw is actually news to me. I, I didn't know it came with this kit. I, I didn't know originally that we were doing a through bolt. So that is, uh, that's awesome. We're gonna be doing lots of upgrades here. So that'll be a number six, a number six right here. Yeah, perfect. So we're gonna be using this drill bit and they're gonna send it right through the rail. Oh, beautiful snug fit, perfect. So we don't have threads in here anymore, but that now gives us the ability to match what a uh, new model alpha is like. Gonna use the stock washers. Uh, you need the washers in there because you need something to retain uh, that bushing into the spot it's supposed to be. And we're gonna use our best friend here, Loctite, and we're gonna be liberal with it. We're gonna, we're gonna lay her down. And you know these bad boys are not going in without Loctite. New scissor mount installed. That's a really easy install because you can do it with a basic socket set and uh, a couple of drill bits and a drill. So that's actually a really easy mod um, for anyone to do. So there is our new one right next uh, to the old one on there. And you can see actually even this one's been uh, maxed out a few times on the hyper extension where it rides on the lower arm. So that's, uh, maybe that's a weak spot too. Quite a bit more angles, quite a bit more meat, um, quite a bit more material. Stock washers installed there. That's the only stock part we're using. We Loctited these bolts up here as well. There's our nut on the other side to go right through the alpha rail on this 19, updating it like some of the newer ones. So there we have it. Rail's starting to look great. You may be asking why I didn't do all these one video. These are all different products. They're addressing all different uh, problems that this rail has. So that's why they are all separate videos. Another reason I'm not gonna put the skid back in is because I may do a walkthrough video. A few years back, you guys asked me to take out a skid and just explain all the parts. Well, I think a lot of people have never seen one of these alpha skids out or they haven't seen one up close or they don't actually really know what's going on in them. So what I'm thinking of doing is taking the skid out of the white sled over there. We can put them side by side each other and we can talk about the parts we upgraded and we can talk about how this suspension system actually works in close-up detail. Thanks everybody for watching today's video. If you haven't subscribed to the channel already, please consider subscribing. It helps us out a ton as long as liking this video and sharing it. If you're already subscribed to the channel, then I love you. More than Benjamin loves muffins. All right, everybody, that's it. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.